getting hacked. Me too. Oh, oh, God, there's, oh, there's no fucking oh, way. Shot, shot. Dude, this motherfucker's got shots. There's two right there. I'm dead. They're all in there. I'm watching behind y'all. Right now, just in case. Get them. Yeah. There you go. Thank you, What is going on everyone, Griffin here coming at you with some Switchblade gameplay and today we're going to talk about the weapon balance that happened in the newest canon update show. So let's head over, let's check it out and let's see what they did. So I had to create my own patch notes for the canon update because the patch notes on the website were just completely terrible, didn't have all the information. Uh, the information that was conveyed was wrong in a lot of situations, so I had to create my own. And I did this while I was in the waiting room, waiting for my oil to be changed on my cell phone. Really didn't take that much time. Don't know why that they can't get it together over there. But anyway, let's talk about weapon balance. So the MLX Mall increased aim over shoulder accuracy from 0 0.1 to 0 0.11. So this doesn't sound like a lot, but the way that they explained it in the update show was that this was making it pinpoint accurate. Like whenever you were aiming ADSing the weapon, it was going to be pinpoint accurate, which I think that it was in the past. I think that they changed that a little bit with one of the updates that came out recently, but I think that that's going to bring the MLX mall a little bit higher up. You know, I don't know which weapon is outperforming the other weapon. I don't see how the conviction is outperforming the MLX mall because the conviction would, would do great in respawn game modes where you're constantly firing and there's always enemies to engage. But in a demolition type setting, to me, I would rather have the MLX mall in almost every single situation since they nerfed the conviction. But we'll see how this plays out. I think that this is a good change and I hope that they actually introduce more characters in the future that actually use light machine guns. The HRM 30K reduced accuracy loss per shot and reduced shot vertical recoil. So they're trying to bring the HRM a little bit more in line with some of the other assault rifles. And by doing so, they're reducing some of the inconsistencies with the weapon. And I think that this is just a fantastic change, in my opinion, because a lot of the uh, pain points that come with playing with the HRM 30K is the fact that you can get consistent damage over time. It just takes a lot of shots to do so. And you also put your self at risk of being outed down grenaded or whatever in order to make this stuff happen you know they want the hrm 30k to capitalize as a headshot machine but it's very hard to get headshots with that weapon when it is so bouncy i know a lot of people have an easier time controlling it than other people but i also understand that like this is why that they took the gun away from dallas and gave him the riptide because it is very hard to get really good and really consistent with a weapon unless you play it constantly like just ridiculously constantly to where you know exactly how the weapon is going to act and you know how to control it very well if you're someone like me that plays a different rogue in almost every single match that you play then you really don't have that time or experience to put into the hrm 30k especially now that only one rogue has it the KA-30 increased accuracy loss per shot, so they're trying to bring the KA-30 down a notch and make it a little bit less like a laser and more like an actual assault rifle that does have some bounciness to it. And I know for a fact that it's got to be overperforming because whenever I'm playing, a lot of the weapons that I see mastered is the KA-30. I know that Dima has it. I know that Ronan has it. But there's a lot of people that's already mastered the KA-30, and they're just running this thing like crazy. It, it's a destroyer up close. It's a destroyer at range. And it's just completely taken over you know, casual demolition at the moment. So it's nice to see this happen. And I don't think it's going to affect the weapon that much i think it's going to affect the weapon for people that are using it to get easy pop shots on people or try to hold down corners and things like that whenever people are rotating but i think that this is going to bring it in line and i think that this is a good change the lr15 full body so they're not really tweaking it much they're what they're doing is they're increasing the aim down sight field of view from 20 to 30 um, and the change is only for the PTS. If people like it, then they're going to put it in live, this, that, and the other. So what they're trying to do, and this makes sense. This is what I've been saying like for forever when it comes to rogues with sniper rifles. The maps that 
is in Rogue Company, 90% of them do not justify a sniper rifle. You have a couple of exceptions, of course. You got High Castle. You got a nice little sniper perch there. You got Lockdown. You've got Glacier. There's a couple of them that make sense to have a sniper rifle, but the majority of them is so close knit, it's so close quarters that it doesn't justify someone picking a sniper rifle. And I know if we're playing two or three people and we see someone insta lock a Phantom, Runway, or a Fixer, then we either have one of two things happen. It's either a massive success and they are just a beast on the sniper rifle, or they've never used a sniper rifle on any game ever. And they're just picking it up and trying to make clips for Twitter or Reddit or whatever. And I think that they could actually increase the FOV from 30 to like 40 because being able to pull up on someone with that weapon, being able to get a very, very, very accurate shot on someone the fov isn't really going to kill anything in my opinion it's just going to make it a little bit more of a broader scope i understand that it's a sniper rifle but we also need to understand as a community that this is a third person shooter at the end of the day and if you're going to have an fov that zooms in so far that you can't recognize anything around you all you see is a giant circle with a dot in the center of it that you're trying to snipe someone, then that puts you at an extreme disadvantage, especially in a game that is third-person shooter. Now, what I would like to see happen to the, the full body and any of the weapons in the game that are first-person is there needs to be a toggle, in my opinion. And I think that this would have fixed a lot of the issues with Saint when he was first released in the game. Whenever I play a third-person shooter, every time that I've ever played a third-person shooter, you have your normal hip fire, you have your ADS over shoulder, and then you also have your first-person view for weapons that require first-person views. And there's a way to toggle between the third-person ADSing and the first-person perspective. And this game doesn't have that. And I think that this puts the you know, puts a lot of the snipers and a lot of the first person weapons at an extreme disadvantage because I would love to play the Aaron. I think that it is a fantastic DMR. I don't like going from third person to first person like that. It just doesn't make sense to me. And I think that they could make that one little quality of life change that you could toggle on and off if you wanted to. And I think that that would make the game feel a lot better for a lot more people, in my opinion. It would be nice to use a sniper rifle, be able to aim down sight, and get some accuracy loss whenever you are shooting the weapon, but not a ton. And then if you want to be perfectly accurate, you go into that first person perspective. That's my opinion. I think this is a step in the right direction for that, but I think that they need to just address the overall issue with it and then actually make that change in my opinion. So these are the weapon changes that was in the Canon update show that happened over the past couple of days. And I think that a lot of these weapon changes make sense, but also I don't think that there is enough information or enough data from the weapon mastery thing to actually go in and accurately adjust any of the weapons in my opinion. The weapon mastery has been out for what, two weeks maybe? Maybe three weeks at this point whenever the video comes out. And to me, it feels like this update show was rushed out it feels like they were trying to get as much information out as humanly possible before people started data mining it. And also, there's other personal things going on with the developers where they're not going to be available for a couple of weeks. So they wanted to get this stuff out there. I get that. I understand that. But they don't have enough information to make weapon changes. If they wanted to introduce the new character, by all means, they could have done that and just been done with it and things would have been fine. But they took the extra mile. They wanted to make weapon changes. They wanted to make rogue and gadget changes. And some of these are really nice and really do make sense. But I wish that this list would have been about, I don't know, 15 more weapons longer to bring everything in line to where it absolutely needs to be. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Also, be sure to check the description for links to Facebook, Discord, and Twitter. Those are the places to contact me. And if you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, guys. How do this? Left side? Yep. Knife somewhere. It's on me. Can you shoot that? Oh, left side. He's right in there. Yeah. It looks I'm bad. Some drinks, uh, yeah. So. Trying to what I meant. I'm gonna go far extreme B. Getting up in here. Oh, yeah, I see someone coming to you, Griffin. I just saw him cross. Watch the one over. There's another one there. 
Yeah, there's two of them over there. Okay. Woo! Watch that. Glitch is one. Distraction. All right, she's one shot behind the boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fucked. I thought that I was just some... I watched the guy some... pour it into the ports on the graphics card. I was just like... <gasps> so, like so that's the thing. And it didn't hurt it. That, it doesn't that hurt just, it. That wasn't just someone flexing. Like, that's an it's, actual fucking trend. It's the best way to cool it. They're on, uh, they're, they're on a... Uh... It's real. One of us over here. But he was running back. Yeah, they they left. I'm gonna move through here. I got stuck. There's one right here as well. Going back. We're gonna try to get him up. Try coming behind him. One's up top and Ambles one's coming one. on the left. Ambles one tap. Motherfucker's gonna kill me. I'm dead. Hey, you're trapped. I missed every goddamn shot. The weapon swap now in the level of it. It makes it now where mid game, like hey. you, you can't just assume someone's gonna be permanent. Yeah, you don't know what's weapon. happening. Wait till I that weapon mastery shows up. Oh, yeah, God. I hear them running around. They're gonna push metal again. Some of them. Okay, yeah, I see one. Oh, he's fucking. Oh, he's in the corner in there. Got one at the back, moving up. They put the shield down in there. There's two I'm in there. Hacked. Glitch. Got pushed over here from Glitch. It's behind this shit. There's two. There's two back there. The Ronin's in the fucking top, guys, if you come in. He's on the shield. He's on the shield. Let's go. Oh, I didn't buy anything. That was bad. I'm gonna go to. It looks like a mid A. Yeah. It looks like there. It looks like there's. It's two left. Are we going to B? Right. Yes. Yeah, B. I'm gonna snap Somebody's... so we get the spread here. I hear someone. There you go. I'm watching your right. I'm moving up. There's another one over here as well. I'm getting hacked. Oh, oh same. All right, Glitch is over here in the hallway. Moving all the way back to the back, take a peek. Ain't nobody back here. Planting the bomb. Somebody's coming up on us over here, Trav. Watch your backside. Glitch. There you go. All right, I'm watching. I think I he's hear him. He's in mid. I think he's coming to you, Trav. No, he's in. Okay, goddamn, he scared man. the shit out of me. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna push A. This Looks time. like I went two two. Yeah. You going A? Yeah. That's a shitty jump. I hate jumping up on that. They should fix snap. They saw me dip out on the side. All right, we got glitch over here. Wow. I mean, we about to shut this down, dude. Somebody's going behind. Anvil came behind. Planting. I'm planting the bomb. Where she went, she was over here. Well, I don't think we we'll have to worry about her. I think she's coming up behind us. We'll see. She's right Wait. here. I hear her. She's yeah. in the water. She jumped in the water. Yeah, let's shoot her in the water. <laughs> Never done that before. Yeah, trench is pretty cool. <laughs> 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 that gun, man, that fucking thing shoots like doo 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 doo. I yeah. was like, okay. Fucking <laughs> nice yeah. job, guys. Matchmaker. Ran it on him right there, man. I know.